leaderships of the Palestinian people, my people, by the way, and I have the authority to say this, if they disown me, if they label me as a traitor, they can say whatever they want to say. I sacrificed a lot for the sake of Palestine, of Islam, even of Hamas. I spent 27 months in Israeli prisons. I grew up witnessing the first Palestinian Intifada. And I had no idea what was going on. As a child, I was fed with hatred that Israel was our enemy. And Israel was the source of our suffering. While the Palestinian leaderships, from Yasser Arafat to Mahmoud Abbas to Abu Jihad, all of them were sitting in Tunisia, spending billions of dollars. In the meantime, they were sending children to die, throwing stones, facing Israeli soldiers, I was one of them. They used us. They sent us to the slaughterhouse. They wanted us to die. The shepherd thought, how many sheep I'm going to sacrifice today to get the attention of the world so maybe we get some more funds. So they decided to slaughter a hundred sheep. 200 sheep. Then Hamas came later on, 20 years later. And they did the same thing, using children and women as a human shield in Gaza Strip. Then we have now a new mask for the shepherd. And written on it, BDS. To manipulate the international community. Create, create chaos. They are very good at doing that. Whether you call it intifada, you create chaos. In a state of chaos, you distract everybody, and the thief knows how to find a way. Same thing now, on a global scale. They are manipulating the friends of Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, the only true democracy. While the shepherd, by the way, is not legitimate anyway. You know, somebody, they sit here in this house of shame. I agree with you, uh, Mr. Daniel. I agree. <laughs> they don't represent the Palestinian people anyway. Who are you representing? The Palestinians in the West Bank or the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip? You are representing greed. Wearing the mask with what so-called Palestinian cause. You're a liar. You're a Lucifer. And at some point, you will be unmasked. If they were sincere and truthful in their approach towards peace, they would go and educate the Palestinian people. First of all, of the actual history. Not their history. To compare Israel to apartheid of the uh, South uh, Africa. This is no comparison. The state of Israel, I know terrorists when I spent time in prison who had blood on their hands of Jewish people and they had the right to go to schools and study and achieve higher degrees from Israeli schools. In Jerusalem, the Israeli government give the Muslims the right to worship on Temple Mount and in the meantime does not give the right to the Jewish people to practice their religious freedom on Temple Mount. <laughs> Me uh, saying it... Uh, uh, somewhere else. The sheep thinks that the shepherd their best friend. The shepherd provides water, food, and creates the illusion for the sheep that it's protector. 
sometimes wearing a mask, a political mask, in the West Bank or Tunisia or other locations, sometimes wearing an, an ideological and religious mask in Gaza or maybe other capitals of the Arab world, they have their own way to deceive the sheep and make the sheep dependent on them. But unfortunately, by the time the sheep realized that the shepherd was not their best friend or the protector of their interest, they are already in the slaughterhouse. This is the reality of what's happening in the Middle East. 